Hello there everybody and thanks so much for tuning in to another video here on Armor of God. I pray y'all are doing well and in this video, I'd like to share with you what Father Vincent Lampert as we address a common debate among Protestant Christians whether baptized Christians can become possessed or that they can only suffer demonic oppression but not possession by the demons. Before we go on with the question, there's something that we must remember about the devil and that the devil loves chaos. He loves chaos and Father Lampert always say that when it comes to the ordinary activity of the devil, it begins with deception. The devil wants us to buy into his lies and once we buy into the deception, it leads to division. We find ourselves broken. Once we find ourselves broken, it leads to diversion and we begin to look for a substitute for God. The devil is certainly willing to take that place and after diversion, it leads to discouragement. People begin to lack any meaning purpose and direction in their lives. There are more people discouraged today than there are people who are depressed. The human person has the innate desire for God and the devil wants to short circuit that desire. Again, he does that by the deception which leads to division, which leads to diversion and finally leads to discouragement. Once we arrive at discouragement, we have a choice to make. One pathway leads to death, sometimes physical. Look at the rise in suicides in our country, sometimes spiritual. Look at the number of people who have been baptized who've now completely rejected Christ in their lives. But as Christians, we are a people of hope. Even when things seem bleak, we know that God is still in control. So back to the question then, can baptized Christians be possessed by demons or suffer from demonic attacks in their lives? Let's listen to what Father Vincent Lampert said about it. And my response would be, if one is living out the commitment of what it means to be baptized, absolutely, they have nothing to fear. But there are a lot of Christians in this, here in the United States, who have been baptized. You know, we might use the term, they have, you know, backslided from their faith. And again, if we walk away from the truth once we've known it, and walking away from the faith is basically saying to God, get out. You know, God respects our free will. The only thing that God does not have from us is our free will. And the goal of the Christian life, I would suggest, is to unite our will with the will of God. So even when God created the angelic world, and then basically says, with this knowledge that I've given you, this infused knowledge, will you now choose to honor and glorify me? And then the belief is that, you know, Satan and one-third of the angels the book of Revelation talks about how his tail swept one-third of the stars out of the sky. The church would see that as the fall of one-third of the angelic choir, who now refer to Satan as their chief. And then the goal of the, the demonic would be to get humans to embrace his rejection of God. But again, if somebody's baptized, they're living out their faith, they have nothing to fear. But just because somebody's been baptized doesn't mean that they don't just walk away from that faith. And when they walk away, God will respect that choice. But then people can put them up, put themselves up against the forces and the attacks of the evil one. So I do think it's possible for a baptized Christian who has backslided in their faith that would experience some type of demonic attacks in their life. 